good morning to all of you. Um, welcome to this short lecture series on complex variables. Uh, my name is uh, Venkata Shonti. I am a faculty at IIC Bangalore. in the department of mechanical engineering. My area of work is uh, vibration and sound. And the topic we are going to cover goes like this, it is a short a short lecture series, short lecture series on complex variables applied to contour integration. apply to contour integration. So, so you may wonder, I am in mechanical engineering, my area is vibration and sound and how come I am offering a lecture series on complex variables which is a mathematics topic. The reason is this, in uh, vibration, sound, waves okay, and several branches of uh, engineering, you get improper integrals of this form where the limits go from minus infinity to infinity or other forms of other integrals which are difficult to do and those that can be addressed by contour integration using principles of complex variables. Okay. Now, it so happens that if you actually take a course on complex variables, because so much material has to be covered in a semester, uh, the, the faculty never gets to dig deep into this aspect of contour integration, because he has to address the needs of all the students. Uh, I specifically working in vibration, sound and waves, uh, I come across many different types of integrals which are difficult to do and I have found contour integration to be very, very useful. Okay. And hence, because I also did not find enough uh, you know, uh, explanations and focus in complex variables lectures. I decided to put together a sh very short series uh, on this topic of complex variables. The focus is contour integration which uh, students require. So, I mean the question may be who will benefit from these lectures, definitely uh, MSc and PhD students, okay. they will definitely benefit and depending on the need and interest students at bachelor level also will benefit from these lectures. Now, the treatment is going to be um, a bit light, uh, not with so much mathematical rigor. Uh, that I expect you will have covered in a proper, proper complex variables course. So, a course on complex variables is assumed or an exposure to complex variables. Uh, is assumed. Okay. A course is a prerequisite. Prerequisite. Okay. This is a kind of a safety statement in the sense that if some student who has enough other mathematical background attempts to listen to these, 
I will not say that he will completely blank out. However, it is good to have a complex variables course background before you listen to these lectures because there are technical terms like singularities and poles, uh, Cauchy residue theorem and so on which I will not be uh, stressing or explaining in great detail. Okay. The, the number of lectures is intended to be somewhere between, between 10 to 12 so that I will not have so much time to get into the depth of the material. So, so we will be looking at a brief theory okay. to keep continuity I will start with the brief theory of complex variables. I will give sketchily some proofs of some important theorems which we need okay. and then I will proceed to give examples maybe about uh, eight, 8 or so examples on contour integrations okay, with some increasing order of difficulty. Okay. And there will be branch cuts which is again a topic less emphasized in courses. Uh, okay. In engineering we do get functions which are you know, not uniquely defined. So, in the complex plane we have to use branch cuts to deal with them and that is a very subtle topic. So, that will be dealt here those who want to understand branch cuts. Um, after the examples are done I will end with a difficult branch cut which is not meant as a classroom problem. Okay. I will introduce just what is called an L shaped branch cut which on occasions in waves one does come across and then I will close with Laplace transform. Okay. The inverse Laplace transform also requires contour integration. The inverse Laplace transform also requires contour integration. And mostly we would we use the in uh, we find the inverse Laplace transform using tables. Okay. So, here we will see how one can use contour integration and get your inverse Laplace transform. So, that is the total spectrum of the course. Now, uh, the textbook, okay, there is a textbook which you can follow. It is uh, complex variables, complex variables and applications or something of that nature applications okay, by Churchill, Churchill and Brown. It is a very popular book. So, the initial theory part I will cover from here, some 3 or 4 theorems I will cover from here. Then the examples I have pulled from various sources, okay. some my own, some pulled from different textbooks. There is an additional textbook which would be useful. It has a similar title complex variables and uh, introduction and application something like that. The authors are Ablovitz and Focus. Okay. So, the theory part covered from here, examples from various sources. Um, if you can get hold of this book, you will benefit. Thank you.